Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I'm doing a look which was inspired by a lavender bottle of Fix Plus. I just thought I don't really wear that much colour and I thought it'd be fun to show you something different than just an, a neutral coloured makeup. So this is my inspiration today. I've done my lip balm and my primer off camera and I will leave a detailed um, description box for you guys so you know everything that I've used. Uh, one of the comments on my other video was to um, show pictures of the products that I'm using but I'm still really new to all the editing and I don't know how to do that yet so until I figure that out I'm just going to leave a description box and I always put links to um, the websites where you can buy the products and then you can see what they look like as well. Right, let's go. First I'm going to um, do my brows. And I'm just using my Illo Masca brow and lash gel and just brushing my brows into place struggle brow first and then this one and then I'm going to leave them to set whilst I do my eye makeup I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand just put a bit on the eyelids um, I only put this in like the darkest part of my eyes because then that way it helps to um, make your dark circles look brighter. If you put it all the way along where it's light as well, it doesn't work so good. So I just concentrate it here. And I'm using a 225 Eye Blender brush from Zoeva and just blending that all in. I'm just going to sculpt out the shape even though I haven't put anything in them yet, but I know the shape brow that I wear, so I can do this bit without having any pencil in. And then just blend that down. And then I'm taking a 217 from MAC, just to really blend that in. And then I'll do the same one this eyebrow for you guys. And blend that again with a 217. For my eyes, I'm using a Laura Mercier um, Caviar Stick eye colour in Plum. I'm just going to put this on my lid. I love um, stick cream things, they're just so quick and easy to use. And then I'm going to go back with another 217 and just blend that through. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush I think I'm going to use and use the plum caviar stick again and literally just put a tiny bit on my brush like this. And then just run that underneath my lash line just to create some smoke underneath too. Then go back with the 217 and just really soften the edge. I was inspired to dig out an old eyeshadow palette because I feel there's a lot of pressure sometimes to always have like the newest thing and the newest thing and the newest thing. And um, this palette I actually really love and I don't really use it that much. Um, but even if I wore, wore it every day, I'd never get through this in a year. So um, I'm going to dust this one off and use this today. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. And I'm taking a 217 brush. It's quite fluffy. And if you're doing a smoky art, I would tend to work with fluffier brushes because they'll give you a nicer blend. And the color I'm using is Smolder, which is this one here. I don't know if it picks up in the camera, but it's a black and purple color. So I'm just gonna take that on my brush tap off the excess and then just blend that over the caviar stick that we've done underneath. And really work the edges to make sure that they're lovely and seamless. 
do the same on this side. And then I'm going to take a clean one. This is another little trick that's quite helpful and just work the edges on it. And make sure they're blended through. You don't always have to have a tr transition colour. If you blend your shadows properly, you can kind of often skip that step. And then I'm going to go back to the 217 that I used for the caviar stick, take it in a tiny bit of smolder, not as much, and then just run that underneath as well. And then I'm going to add um, another colour just to the centre of my eyelids to give a bit more pop. And the colour I'm using is Satellite Dreams from MAC. I'm going to take a flat brush this time. I'm using a 240 from MAC, just rubbing that in. And then I'm just going to. Ooh, that's pretty. Just put that on the centre of my eyelid. And make that. You see how it makes it pop a bit more than the other eye? Right? Just gives it a bit more dimension. Oh, that's nice, I like that. Hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to take an eye pencil. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eye Coal Pencil and the colour is Coal Noir 01. It's just a really black pencil. And I'm just going to create some more smoke around the lash line. So I just take this and really make sure you get the black all the way down into your roots. There's nothing worse on a look like this seeing eyeshadow or skin peeking through and then before it sets because it's a double wear product I'm just going to use a pencil brush I think this one's from Louise Young and it is yes an L13 LY13 and just smoke that out along the top lash line do the same on the other eye just wing it out a tiny bit so there's a suggestion of a feline eye but it's not as um, obvious as like a graphic black liner and then I'm going to take the same pencil and run it underneath and blend that through as well and join up the edges and then in the actual waterline as well. Right, so now that's done, I'm going to use um, my two favourite mascaras. First I'm using Extended Play Giga Black um, from MAC. I like to use this as a lash primer as well. I kind of layer my mascara so this one gives lots and lots of definition. It's really good for um, creating quite a fluttery lash. So I do that on my top. Noisy plane. And then I do some on the bottom as well. And then because it's a smoky eye and I want it to have more drama, I'm going to use my In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. I don't know why they make the name so long for these things. Um, mascara on my top lashes as well. Only on my top lashes this time. makes a big difference when you do the two of them together so that's that that's that that's that right now on to skin 
A little tip for you guys, if you're looking for foundation, go to a counter and get a sample. It's a really good way to try out the products and see if you like it before you commit to it. So I have been given Warm Walnut from um, Bobbi Brown. It's the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. And I'm going to put this on now. So I'm just taking what's this brush, uh, 159 from MAC. Paint this on roughly. Oh, it smells really nice that foundation. And then use some Fix Plus and my Beauty Blender. And work that in. And just blend this on my face too. Nice coverage. It's actually a full coverage foundation that I don't usually wear, but that being said, um, it, it still looks like skin. I've tried this product already and it looks really good on. So let's blend that through. Tiny bit on my chin. A little bit on my forehead. I'm only putting it really in the centre of my forehead because most people highlight here but I actually make it a little bit darker so my forehead doesn't look as round as it is. So I just take down the highlight there. So now my skin's on, I'm happy with my eyes, I'm just going to go back in and put my brows on. So I'm using um, the spiked brow pencil from MAC again and I'm just going to fill in the gaps in my brows. This eyebrow is so nice. I wish this one looked like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit more concealer and just highlight a little bit here. I'm gonna go back with my blending brush from Zoeva and just pump that up a little bit to make it a tiny bit brighter in here. Don't take it too close to the smokiness that you created underneath, otherwise you'll just um, make the sh make it too sharp a jump. And then I'm going to use a tiny bit of my Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number 10, just as a highlight on my skin. And just pop that on the cheekbone here and here. Mm, maybe a tiny bit on the brow and then use my Beauty Blender again and just work that into the surface of the skin. And it just creates a really subtle glow, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna use the tip of the Beauty Blender and just do it under the brow. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to blush. And in true Stacey style, I'm gonna use lipstick because I love the creaminess of it and I like that I don't have to have separate products. Cream blushes and lipsticks on the cheeks kind of do the same thing. So for me, that works just well. I am going to use um, the color from my lipstick palette. And the color I'm using is Girl About Town. It's a MAC lipstick. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on the same brush that I applied my foundation with. Just pop that on and then use my beauty blender again. Sorry, I have to make this weird. My blush face to get it on. So I'm going to take Saint Germain, or Saint Germain if you say it that way. It's just a really pale pink here and just pop that on top to make it a tiny bit brighter. Back with the Beauty Blender. Nice. nice. And now I'm going to set everything. 
I get so excited doing this. Right, I'm using my mineralized skin finish powders again. I'm going to use the color dark underneath my eyes because I want it to be a little bit brighter there. It's a really nice um, golden yellowy color. And I'm not taking it out onto my highlight here because I don't want that to get dulled down. Oh, I'm gonna do a bit of contour as well. Even though the word contour makes you feel a bit sick. But, um, this is my Pro Conceal and Correct palette from MAC as well. I love this, it's so versatile because for me it has every colour that I am throughout the year and it has um, two correction colours on there which is really useful. So I'm going to use the NW55 and start at the back and just work that in there. I love the way creams and liquids behave on the skin. They just give such a I want to use natural but believable yeah believable look to the makeup I find sometimes with powder highlight and powder contour it can just grab on the skin and it doesn't look real so you can see that's made my cheekbone stand out a bit more and then I'm going to do a, what's left on the brush just on the temples to put some balance back into the face and now on to lipstick so I'm going to use my um, spikes brow pencil again as a lip liner It's a really cool brown, quite grey toned, which is really nice for the lipstick I'm going to use. And the colour I'm using is from Illa Masca and it's called Buff. And then finally, I'm going to top it off with a tiny bit of gloss. This is a Smashbox uh, Limitless Long Wearing Lip Gloss. And the colour I'm using is Enduring. Just in the centre to create a bit more dimension to the lip. Not that I need it because my lips are huge. But anyway, so guys, that's the end of the video. Inspired by Lavender Fix Plus. It would be rude not to really. Um, yeah, it was just weird. I just thought, oh, purple, why not? I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be posting this look on my Instagram, which is at ace underscore face beauty when this video goes live on YouTube. Um, if there's anything you'd like to say to me, please leave a comment below. I'll try my best to get back to all of you guys. Thanks so much for the support and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.